Welcome to your studio students. So in this video, let's me see about the um, A tag, anchor tag in HTML. So you have already known what is HTML, hypertext markup language. So this is the language which is used for designing the web. So in worldwide, every web designer can be used this HTML as a basic language for designing web. So in this HTML, uh, the main uh, ad tag we have seen this topic in this video. So the main topic uh, is anchor tags. So because uh, by using this anchor tag only we can make hypertext and hyperimage. What is hypertext and hyperimage? So hypertext is nothing but it is a small text or it may be a uh, line, whatever. But that line or text contains some meaning. Some meaning meant it has some link. So when you click that over on the text, or when you click over on the line, the link will be established to open some another web page on your web browser. So that's mean it is hypertext. So the hypertext contains some link. That link is used to for navigate our current document, current web document into some another web document. That means web page. So web document is nothing but that is the page. Okay, so that is hypertext. That hypertext is a very very important one in web uh, for uh, for navigating the one page to another page. So without the hypertext, we cannot navigate in the web pages one by one in our internet. So the web page is very important. Hypertext is very important. So let's we see how to make the hypertext. So that the hypertext can be made only by using the tag a tag. A that's mean anchor tag. So A mean anchor tag. So by using this anchor tag, we can make a hypertext or hyper image in your web. So in your HTML, okay. And uh, this anchor tag has some more uh, attributes. By using that attributes, we may give some value to that anchor tag, okay. And one more important point is that anchor tag must have a close tag. So you should close the anchor tag for uh, for finishing the hypertext, okay. So you are having in web document you are having many documents many text many paragraph so among those paragraph we have to specify one text as a hypertext so that's mean the text must be embedded within the open and close anchor tag so the open and close anchor tag is very important to make a hypertext okay so now we see attributes of the anchor tags we are having many attributes the main attributes of the anchor tag is href so the href is nothing but it is hyper reference, hyper reference. So in this href attribute, we have to specify the URL of the uh, web page, URL of the web page. So that's mean when you click the hypertext, which web page you have to open, that web page URL you have to specify in the href attributes. Okay. So this href attributes, we have to specify the URL of the web page which you want to open on, on the next one. Okay. Uh, next we have important one is target attributes. So in these target attributes we have to specify four values. So the main use of the target attributes is so when you click the hypertext the new web page will open. That's another web page will open. That open web page will be displayed on where? Okay. So it may be displayed on current uh, document or it may be open on new tab of the web browser or it may be open on some parent uh, web page of the web browser so website sorry, parent web page of the website so in where we have to open the next web page when you click the hypertext okay so that place can be specified in the target attribute so the target attribute is used for specify the place specify the locations where the uh, opened new opened document will be uh, open on your web page. So it has four important values one is underscore plank, underscore self, underscore parent, underscore dog. These four uh, among those three uh, uh, four values you have to specify one value in this attribute. attribute. So uh, underscore plank value you have to give you will give in the target attribute mean uh, the opened the linked linked document will be open on the next tab. That's mean new tab of the web browser. So uh, suppose if you specify the underscore self value in your target attributes mean the linked document will be open on your current document, current web uh, document. So current tab. 
So in which tab you spell, you view the current document that is uh, that goes the next to the linked document will open in the same tab. Suppose underscore parent you will give over to the attributes value in the target attributes mean. Here the linked document will open on the parent web page. Okay, parent web page means home web page. And next to underscore top. So underscore top we have to specify this value in the target attributes mean. The linked document will open on the highest web page in the website. So in your website we are having many web pages. Uh, among those web pages which is on the highest one that that where uh, the link document will open okay so this target attributes specified for uh, you have to specify the locations where the link document will be open okay so those are the and next one is the name so we can give some name to that anchor tag okay so which is mainly used for navigating the uh, sections more than one sections um, in the same document. Suppose if you want to navigate more than one sections or navigate more than one paragraph in the same document, mean where we have used the name attributes. Okay. And next we have to know about syntax. How to write the A tag in your HTML program? So open angle mark followed by A. And we have to give one space. And then next we have to write the attributes of the anchor tag. The first attribute is HREF. So HRF is equal to within the double quotation you have to give the URL address of the web page. And next one is the target, is next second attributes is equal to underscore black. So we have to uh, note one point, you have to specify that all the values of the attributes must be in the double quotation. Okay, so after writing all the attributes, so we finally close the angle mark. And then we can also finally close the anchor tag. So we can close the anchor tag by using slash symbol before the A. And next you see the example. This is an example. In this example, I have used one, uh, one, one URL that is called research.html. Uh, and in this example, I will make one text as a hypertext. That text is a result. So when I click the result text, when I click the result text, uh, the result.html uh, file will be open on my web page. Okay, so A is anchor tag. We have to open the anchor tag and then followed by that we have to write the first attribute href. In this href, may I have to give the value result.html. So result.html is my HTML file where I have the result web page content. Okay, and the next target is the next attribute is equal to underscore blank. That's me the result web page will be open on the next uh, tab of the web browser new tab of the web browser so when i click the, and then next you have to unclose the angle mark so now the open angle uh, a tag is over after that you have to write the result content this is a word uh, you write this word and then after that word you have to close the anchor tag so you write whatever word or whatever line within the open and close angle mark that will make us a hypertext. So okay, this is the output. When I see the hypertext in your web document, it looks like uh, a blue. It looks like a blue color with underline. Okay. So that's meaning it has some link. So when you move the cursor over on this text, the cursor will be uh, changed into hand symbol. That's me. It has some link. So when you click that hypertext, the result of HTML will be open on next window tab in the browser. So this is the anchor tab. Thank you, student.